What's up guys? I know it's been a long, long time, so I figured I'd just pop in and give an update and just show a little footage that I've been filming around here waiting for parts, mostly. That's uh, a lot of you have reached out. Thank you for reaching out, uh, asking if everything's okay or if uh, if I'm okay or if the, the project has stalled. Well, no, it's not stalled. It's just that everything is backordered. All the little parts and pieces that I need. It seems like everything is backordered with the whole pandemic thing and everything that was... It just seems like the supply chain and everything has been slowed down so much to the point where it's just everything's back ordered. Uh, I did get this gantry crane back here, which you'll see uh, in the video. Sure makes things a lot easier when it comes to pulling the body on and off and then on and off the panther frame once you start getting to that point. So with that being said, yeah, guys, thank you so much for reaching out. I appreciate it. Uh, it's just everything's just back ordered. There's uh, the steering column for this thing. I ordered it first week of February. Still don't have it and still don't have a ship date on it yet. So it's just things like that that are just kind of holding everything up and it's kind of frustrating, but I understand it is what it is. So guys, enjoy some footage of what's been going on around here. Alright, this is what I'm working with here. Much more stable, I like it. Probably gonna have to pull the blue truck out. Need to burn all that anyway. <laughs> Take that down to the burn pile. That's what this has become for the time being until I get my upholstery and my window roped in. Uh, it's just kinda the burn pile truck. But I did get my diamond back tires on there. And I, I love them, they look awesome. Ready to put some miles on them, that's for sure. But yeah, it looks like I might have to pull the blue truck out to be able to get this out. I don't want a chance of scratching that. Something happened to the truck. What? Wow. <laughs> what happened? What happened to it? What? What happened to the truck? Is it just up in the air? Yeah. It's up in the air now, huh? There's no wheels. Yeah. Well, look at this. <laughs> yeah. If the body come off. That's right. The body come off. What's this part here? What? The engine? Yeah, the engine. Now we just got to put this underneath this. We'll be all done. Are you going to put this on the police car? Yep. It's going to be the truck police car? Yep. Pretty cool. Now I showed all this while it was up in the air, but for some reason that footage was lost or corrupt or something, but I noticed a little pinhole somewhere in around here somewhere of rust. So I went ahead and went with uh, some 14 gauge steel and rebuilt this whole area right here is because this is where we're going to build the mounts that come down and mount to the frame and replaced all the steel down in here and on the inside I had really good angles of it before but for some reason and I did this on both sides of the truck that footage has been lost and I cannot recover it but yeah so that's what happened there replaced all that and the added peace of mind of having that thick of steel right there. It's much, much thicker than came there. So it'll be a nice peace of mind to have. Because again, that's where we're gonna build the mount to mount to the frame. And back here, I just used some angle iron and welded it to the back, the bed here, and then underneath, I'll show you underneath in a minute, and then ran this one by three welded to that with some supports. Because this is where we're gonna mount to the frame right here and then we're going to do another mount back here. And here we are. Here's the angle iron folding underneath, welded, then welded 
the one by three we welded some supports there and then all the way down so it's all super strong then we'll build off of the frame here to be able to mount here essentially i'm just replicating what i did on the blue truck there's the mount there off the frame and there's where the mount the rubber mount is and this is all welded to the truck i just don't have the angle iron on this truck like i do on that truck in hindsight that's something i would do now that's that's the nice thing about this truck over here is there's a lot of things in hindsight that I would have done here that I get to do over on this one. And that gives me a little peace of mind because this is for a customer. It's, it's not for me. So building as strongly and as safely as I can is paramount. Now the truck is down on the Panther frame. I just need to make the mounts. And it would be really helpful if I could have my uh, steering column to make all that. But uh, I can just pretty much copy what I did off of my other truck. This is my old fender, by the way. I'm just using it for mock-up. But uh, yeah, it's sitting down there. It just needs to be properly mounted. Again, that, that gantry crane, I think it's like 620 bucks to your door. Shipped to your door, 620 bucks. Uh, and then you buy the little hoist there. Uh, but yeah, that thing is amazing. I'm gonna be using that thing a lot, I'm pretty sure. It's made by Titan, if you're interested. I will see if I can put a link in the description. Now, as for the blue truck, uh, the Diamondback, Tires, I absolutely love them. I did end up putting the Baby Moon on there, which I kind of, I, I like from the side, but when you kind of come up like at an angle, it sticks out like some kind of chrome snot bubble. I'm not totally, totally on board with it. Um, one thing I really love about white, well, oh yeah, and this one fell off. I had one back here and it fell off. So I'm um, rethinking what I want to do about it. One thing I do love about white walls and steel wheels is spider caps. But again, I don't want spider caps that are going to stick out really far. All the ones I can find, the lowest profile is like three and a half inches. So try to maybe come up with, make or fabricate or come up with some sort of like low profile spider cap that would really look cool. Uh, I always love spider caps and white walls. My upholstery still isn't done yet. I stole the seat out of that truck to put in here just to kind of drive around a little bit. And have some fun with which i've definitely been doing i've only put i've only driven a hundred or so miles just just around the lake we've got a lake over here so just kind of cruising around a little bit but yeah this is the focus for right now but yeah once i get the upholstery done then i can focus on the bed and then this truck will pretty much just it'll be ready for what its intended use was just be a shop truck um, but for now this is this is the main goal just waiting on parts to come in. Side note, if you're interested in this time away from not being able to make videos because I'm held up by back orders, I've been making videos uh, just because I love making videos. Uh, my son and I, Landon, say hi. hi. You probably remember him. Uh, he and I started another YouTube channel while we're in this lull uh, called Random Iowa. And what it is, is we open up a big map of the state of Iowa because that's where we live. And uh, we, he throws a pointer at the map. Wherever it lands, that's the town we go to. We explore, meet the people, uh, check out the history, whatever it is. Uh, just kind of a fun way for he, he and I to get out of the house, him learn something and all that, and us to be able to make videos uh, just because we like doing that. If you're interested in checking out that channel, I'll put a card up here. It'll show up. You click on that. That's where you can go to go to that, and I'll put a link down below. We'd love to have you, right? That's his thoughts on it. So check it out if you want to. Uh, just exploring the state of Iowa randomly. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much what it is. Uh, no, it's not stalled. It's not on the back burner. It's just waiting on parts, basically. I've talked to a few other car builder guys, and they're kind of in the same boat. A lot of back orders going on right now, uh, but to be expected, I suppose. Guys, thank you so much for reaching out, checking in and everything, doing just fine over here. Uh, really appreciate it, guys. Thank you so much, and I'll see you in the next one, hopefully sooner than later.